Did you know when a hippo is upset, his sweat turns red? I can kind of relate to that. <laughs> Comment down below any fun facts that you know. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. The lights, but the touch lights. And if I move to the side, the kids absolutely love them. Although, my youngest didn't have a choice as you can see. <laughs> I just thought they looked awesome. So, we're going to have a look at them in this video. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's crack on. Right, so first of all, I want to thank Banggood for sending these lights out to review. And if you are interested at looking at them, I will leave links in the description down below. So I was looking through Banggood's website for cool stuff. And then I thought, what would my kids love? And then I came across these lights and there's really not much to them, but they absolutely love them. And me personally, I could probably put them behind me on the wall and I think they'd make a nice effect. I just think they might be a bit too bright. And the light would be projecting towards the camera. But all they are are little hexagons. And each one has got a touch sensor in the middle. So each time you touch that sensor, it turns on. And then around the edge, you can see different fittings. So you can buy different amounts. I've got 20. And what you can do, they're like magnetic. Push them together and ding dangly do. Now let me know in the comment section down below why you would use these lights. But even if I just turn one on now... And I've already got good lighting around me. You can see it is pretty bright. If I turn that off, you can see how much duller it is. Now, these are called like quantum lights. And I'm guessing there's loads of different brands. But obviously, when you're buying from Banggood and that, they're the cheaper alternative. So they manage to make things a lot cheaper. And they do pretty much the same thing. So like we said, you've got the fittings around the edge. They are magnetic. The magnets aren't the strongest in the world. But when they do connect together... They obviously link up so they can all light up when you touch them and they do light up individually. And then on the bottom, each unit has got a power port on it so you can plug them in individually. But if you're getting like 10, then you've got to screw 20 screws into your wall. You've got to make sure they all line up. A good thing with these ones is they do come with like a sticky pad for the bottom, making it a lot easier. And the amount of fun we've all had with them is unreal. So when I put them all together, I put them together on the table like I said, I didn't want to put them on the wall. I were going to put them onto wood, but then I thought, if my kids are using it, then you've got your splinters, you've got your sharp edges. So I ended up using a piece of cardboard and just sticking them all to that. And then this is my finished result here. They can start just pressing them as you want. You can also rub around, look at this, so you can't really see it. So I've turned the lights down. Hopefully you can see them a bit better now, but as you can, they're really bright and they are the brilliant look. Oh, no. <laughs> so when my daughter came in from school, she were straight on it. She were pressing them. I couldn't get her away. And then my nephew came round, and I used it like as a walking pad. So wherever he walked on it, it would light up, or he could just get on it and stop tapping it. And that kept him entertained for a lot longer than I expected. And then you've got the eldest daughter. She even loved it. And then me being me, I put the dog on it. And I think he might have liked it as well. I'm not sure though. And that's why I thought it was worth doing a video on. I don't know, I just thought they were cool. And now I'm making the video, I'm thinking, were they really worth making a video on? <laughs> <laughs> now my wife's just made a very good point as well. She works in a school and she said something like this would be really good in like a sensory room, which is a very good point. So I'm actually going to donate these to the school because they will get a lot more use there than they would here. They do come in different amounts, so you can get one unit, you can get two units, you can get five, ten. And if we jump over to Banggood's website, as you can see, for 20 pieces, it's just under £85, which sounds like a hell of a lot. But I did find, even for 10 pieces in a different brand, it came in at more. But that's just a general idea of the pricing. Obviously, the less units you get, the cheaper it'll be. So theoretically, you could get one, just like as a touch nightlight, so if you're in the bedroom, you get up, you get up for a big <laughs> and then you just tap that bad boy. Gives you a bit of light. There are a few cons to it, obviously. There is a touch sensor in the middle, but you have got to be quite precise. You can't adjust the brightness, which that, that'd be quite good, that. 
I'm guessing you can get different quantum lights that come with remotes or you can use an app on your phone with them. Another thing is they are just white. You can buy others and you can get different colours, but you can't change what colour they show. But I suppose when you're buying cheaper products, you're going to expect that they haven't got all the features. Basically just a lie, that's it. My opinion, we're going to get a let's crack on rating and while making this video I'm going to give it about a 3 out of 5. They are cool, they've kept my kids entertained and if the kids were to give it a score, they'd probably come in at around 4.5 or 5 because they absolutely love them. But yeah, I've got my little MJ. He loves a little dance on them now. When he gets a bit older, I'll get him shuffling around on it. <laughs> but let me know in the comment section down below what you will think. Like I said, a lot of different types of videos coming to the channel. This one, probably one of the more boring ones, but that's the beauty of this channel. I can review absolutely anything. Right, I'll see you in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well. And I'll see you soon. Tada! And that's going to make 20 screws and they've all got a lot. So I'm actually going to donate. Oh, f***ing donate. Don't, don't. <laughs> right, so first of all, I want to thank Banggood for sending these products out to review. And if you are interested, if you are, if you are, if you are.